Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a reading for all of the collective. Uh, this is a, a reading uh, for anyone that needs to hear it. We're just going to take a look at your energy here, okay? Let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to use this Green Witch Oracle deck. It's called the Green Witch Oracle. And we're just going to take a, a look at your energy here and see what messages Spirit has for you, okay? This is a timeless reading, so whenever you find this reading, you're meant to find it. And welcome. <laughs> Let's see what's showing up for you. I must see. Okay, thank you. I feel like I want one more message for you. One more message for the collective. Oh, you're going through um, some challenging times here. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of you guys may feel like a lot of things aren't clear in your life. Um, almost like you're trying to operate through a maze or through a mist or through a fog of uncertainty. This card says fog, obscurity, and feeling lost. So I feel like this may be the energy of the future. Well, yeah, the present as well as the future. Like you're not sure what's ahead. <laughs> you're not sure uh, if things are going to, you're going to be able to keep everything stable or get back on track. Some of you guys are really, your energy is really scattered. I'm feeling from this card, from this card. Uh, because if you look at this road here, the road is not straight. There's all types of twists and turns and just, and you're going through a fog, <laughs> a, a mist, a fog, okay? And you can't see exactly where you are. So it's really scary. It makes me, I've, dri I've driven in this before in the Midwest, okay? During winter storms and it's not fun um, to have this on your path must be very challenging, very hard for you. I feel you, okay? I feel like the message here is for you guys to slow down. There's a need for you to, to be patient with yourself, to navigate through this uncertainty. Some of you guys feel like you're really struggling with your finances or struggling in your relationships here uh, with children if you have children or with uh, family members maybe friends work colleagues it could be anyone here but i feel like your relationships may be stressed as well because you're going through an immense amount of intense energy and it feels like you're trying to do it in silence okay um it's almost like you don't want anyone to really know. You may speak about it some, but you don't want anyone to really see that part of you um, or see you struggling like this. Um, that's what it is. Okay, you guys have a Ten of Swords that is coming up for you here. You also have the Six of Swords that's showing up for you. You have the Strength card the Ace of Wands, and the Moon card here, okay? So it, it's almost like with this Moon card, there is a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of worry if you're going to be able to withstand um, this storm. It feels almost like a storm for some of you guys. If you see this Moon card, that's like a lot of gusty wind. That's what I feel, okay? And it's, it's your subconscious mind, Um Every time I see this, it feels almost like the subconscious mind with tower cards that's there with the moon, okay? And there's a lot of fear being drawn out of this card. Um, and it, it feels almost like I just heard the dead of the night. The dead of the night. Like maybe you guys have a very challenging time sleeping. There's a lot of worry on your heart. You're really yearning to move forward. You feel like every time you try to take one step forward, you get knocked back down or something happens in your life. 
uh, that you have to go fix. I just heard putting out fires. You guys feel like you're constantly putting out fires. Every time you take a step towards something that you want, that you need. Um, and it's, I don't know, man, the messages are so loud. They're saying that you guys, every time you try to do something for yourself, someone else needs something from you. It kind of makes you feel like you want to separate from the world or just separate from people. Not because you're tired of them, but it's almost like you can't catch your breath here and your mind is running a million miles a minute okay and it just feels like you want to move to a place of peace you just want peace in your life and you're just ready to let it all go um a lot of you guys you've been struggling in those relationships with the ten of swords it feels like um, a lot of you guys may feel like people have taken advantage of, of you, have told you lies, have deceived your mind and your heart. And I just heard someone say they were only trying to love someone or help someone. Um, and something is never enough. That's what I'm hearing here. Okay. I'm going to show you something. You guys have the moon card that is showing up for you twice here. Well, this reading is for so this moon energy is about phases cycles and your intuition it's also about maybe fear or uncertainty like i said to you before so what i'm hearing from this reading is this too shall pass and i'm really feeling that energy here because we have the strength card and the ace of wands that's coming in for you okay this too shall pass like this is a cycle a phase that you're going through. It may be very harsh. It may be very challenging, but your soul is very strong. You are very strong. And this is how, with the strength card being in at the heart of your reading, this is how the universe wants you to respond to your challenges here. Uh, she has the infinity sign on the top of her head because it represents um, having infinite patience. She's very patient and um, gentle as she is closing this lion's mouth. Okay. It takes a lot of courage and patience to do something like that and confidence. And that's how I feel they want you to present yourself in the present moment. You have this card coming in. It is saying time like the plant. Okay. This is the, <clears throat> the green witch Oracle deck. So this is all about botanicals and herbs. All right. So you have time that's showing up for you. It says presence and self awareness is what's needed at this time. I feel like they're saying that because of something that's going to be happening with the ace of wands. It's, it's really a fiery, uh, passionate, driven energy and I do feel like there's something new developing here in your life. But we're going to take a quick look at this time card. If I can find it <laughs> and read it. OK, because I feel like there's a delicate message in this reading for you uh, from this card. So with this sharp scent, time tells you to be in the moment and pay attention to the state of your mind, body and spirit. And green witch craft, we rely on herbs to help ground us. Maybe you're needing to use some time, okay, to help ground you. This time card is asking you to be present and self-aware. It may be time to take an inventory of how you feel with all the pre uh, pretense, wishful thinking, and il uh, illusion stripped away. Evaluate yourself honestly. Take note of areas that sting or hurt and what feels good. And I feel like you're dealing with a lot of areas that sting and hurt. And it kind of feels like you're trying to move away from this. It, you want to move away from it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's an overwhelming feeling with the Six of Swords that you need this peace in your life. Because if you can see the people in this boat, they're leaving with nothing. You're willing to leave with nothing. Okay. 
but the memories that you have in order to have this new beginning, to have another chance, okay? To create the life that you want or be in the environment that you want and need that's more comforting and supportive right now at this time. This card is telling you here to try not to judge your feelings here. Some of you guys, you may feel bad about leaving because that's why the Six of Swords is here moving from the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. This may be a, a bittersweet departure for you, but you have to be tough and do what's right for you. Because if you're moving from the Five of Swords, it's letting me know that you may have been dealing with situations Five of Swords and Ten of Swords. You may have been dealing with a situation here that wasn't healthy for you in any way. Maybe it was something that's not healthy or someone that's not healthy, an environment or a relationship that may not be the healthiest and it may be very toxic to your mind, body, and spirit. So try not to judge yourself for leaving things in the past, leaving people here in the past and needing a fresh start this is your fresh break. That's what I'm hearing. Your card is saying just offer them love, those people that you're leaving, okay? Even your old self, if you're stripping your old self, stripping away, and I mean habits that you have, um, old ideas that you may have been clinging on to, okay? Old love that you may have been still thinking about. Whatever you're stripping away, don't be sad of that energy leaving. You're coming back more wise. I feel that and stronger with the strength card. And as you, as you look at her, she's like crowned with um, roses and flowers, okay? In the infinity sign. So, Whatever comes your way, you know that you can handle it with grace. Um, and they're just telling you to just offer those things in the past that you're leaving or whatever you're leaving in the past, love and understanding. And remember that feelings are not actions. It takes strength and effort to stay present in your life. So they're wanting you to stay present here in your life. Let's go ahead and get a few more messages out here. What else is coming up here for the collective spirit? Okay, you have the three of... I feel on your journey, wherever you're going, if it's a mental destination with the swords or even a physical destination, transition or departure, <laughs> what you're headed towards is something that is going to be uh, much needed and deserved at this time. And you're being told here that it's time. It may be time for you to let go of the old and welcome the new into your life because you got quite, quite a bit of this air energy coming in and, and each card looks like it's getting more and more frustrated or stressed out and worried. Um, but this is how I'm truly seeing you. Okay, the three of pentacles and the king of pentacles showing up for you here. Okay, so I feel like this is potential in the future for you, the near future. This could be happening pretty quickly for some of you if you've already taken necessary steps to improve your life and leave things that aren't suiting you anymore. And this may be something that happens within weeks or six months, six weeks for some of you guys here. Okay. Um, this three of pentacles energy, it kind of makes me feel like there are partnerships that are meant to start and that are meant to uh, be experienced and had here in your life. And I feel like they're also telling me here that you are going to be returning to a place of comfort and stability material wise here. Okay. Um, you're also going through a very significant spiritual change with this death card that's coming in towards you and your views your perspective on your life in the world is going to change as well which in turn may really change your relationships here because your beliefs are going to start to shift 
about your life. Everything is calm. I feel like it's coming to a point where it's very calm because you have the chamomile card as your final card that's coming in. Usually when the six of swords shows up, it means you're moving on towards calmer waters or there is a, an opportunity for you to move on to, uh, towards common calmer waters if you choose to do so okay we all know about chamomile it's a very soothing herb okay uh, it helps relax you it provides melatonin okay to your body or helps you produce it um don't yes that's what i feel helps you produce it or induce calmness or sleep. Some of you guys need to incorporate chamomile in your life. This is also telling me overall about your life, how it's coming to a point where it's going to calm down. This is not, I don't want you to, I don't want this to sound like out of reach here because it doesn't feel like something that's going to be a snap of a finger, like it's going to happen right away. I feel like as you continue to make decisions that benefit you and um, your highest good here, um, your life will shift and change to the vibration that you're trying to live on here, which is a very calm and neutral one, okay? So uh, have you been struggling to give yourself permission to release things that are hurting you, um, that no longer, are serving you or things that you have outgrown, okay? The book is not saying that. I'm asking you that as I'm holding this chamomile card, okay? You can put your answers down in the comment section if you would like to talk about it. There's a lot of supportive people here on this channel. Um, and I definitely feel like you'll find an inspiring comment or story, okay, that will motivate you or inspire you in some way or bring you comfort, okay? But we're going to close your reading off with this chamomile card. We're going to read the message here. It says, with this gentle energy and flavor, chamomile suggests that perhaps you need to slow down a bit, exactly through the fog, the fog that came up for you. So it's time to slow down a bit. There's something in your life that is draining you or wearing you down, a relationship, a situation. And the chamomile card quickly reminds you that if you're in a state of exhaustion, you won't be able to do the work that will be required because you're about to be, I feel like you're stepping into something that's going to be very fruitful and beneficial to you. It could be a new job. It could be a new place where you're going to go work. It could be a new business that you're starting. Maybe you're focused on um, working on uh, bettering your assets or a bank account. Okay. You are paying off debt. You are looking to start your own business. You're looking to do something to uh, expand your life in a monetary way because we're talking about the pentacles here, okay? And then you have the three of pentacles that's showing up here. So if you're working with people, working around people, taking on projects and tasks, and you're using your skill set to earn a living here, you have to be on top of your game and you can't be worn out all day, worried about something or someone uh, that's not uh, providing you the energy that you need for your life, okay? They're draining you of your life force. So this chamomile card quickly reminds you that if you're in a state of exhaustion, you won't be able to do the work that will be required in the future, either at all or at uh, to the extent you'll need to. Chamomile invites you to take a pause, step away from your work, whatever kind it may be, and give your mind, body, and spirit time to find balance and equilibrium. Okay, I hope this message helped someone that needed it, that needed to hear it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts and your feelings are, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care, loves. Bye.